And so at the beginning, at the launch, uh, the first units were only sold to the restaurant, wineries, restaurants, uh, wine bars, or you already started to try to sell to customers? We were prepared to sell to customers. We built a website for direct-to-consumer and uh, we had had a, hey, if you're interested, please fill out a form and we'll let you know when we're ready uh, to sell. And then I had the incredible fortune of meeting Robert Parker, uh, a mutual friend in, introduced me uh, over a dinner. Uh, he said, you know, Greg, you've got to show Robert Parker this, this thing. And Robert Parker had, like everybody in my generation, he shaped the way we drank. Uh, he's the reason I drank Northern Rhone wine. He's the reason I drank whites and reds uh, from the Northern Rhone, because he convinced me that, and my grandfather-in-law was also a big collector of those wines. And so I had an enormous amount of sort of hero anxiety, like, here, I'm going to go meet this guy. I'm just some med tech guy who loves wine with this crazy thing, and I'm going to go meet... The, uh, the, the oracle uh, of wine that is Robert Parker. And so I went down to Moncton, Maryland and this wonderful, um, I think it's Vito's, it's, uh, it's a Italian restaurant. Uh, and I'm sitting there with my friend Jerry at the table and Bob's late with his wife, uh, Pat, and they walk in and he comes up to me and he goes, uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I hear you have got a gadget. Uh, I hate all gadgets. I think they get in the way of drinking wine. Um, so nothing personal, but I hope we can still have a, a nice dinner. And then so I was like, oh, bummer. Uh, but, you know, Jerry was like, Bob, you got to see this. And so I had a bottle that I still have. It's actually in the wine fridge right over there. A bottle of um, 2003 Chapoutier Le Mille Blanc, uh, a hot year, very delicate wine, uh, easily oxidized. I'd corvined it seven years prior and I was going to corvin it for him. And I did uh, just poured from the bottle with it. And he tasted it and he goes, yep, that's Chapitier Le Mille Blanc 2003. I had that last night. And, and then Jerry was like, he, he, cor- he corvin that seven years ago. And so then Bob looked at me and he goes, this is the most important thing that's happened in wine. Uh, and so it was a complete switch. And so long story was that he invited me onto his podcast show, YouTube show, the next day and we were talking and drinking and it wound up being a two hour show. And uh, so we sold out in large part because of that video. So a lot of consumers saw it and bought, bought out all of our core. Wow. That's, that's wonderful. How, what a great change in perspective. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.